This is Frog on it. So the reason I wanted to play this, I don't know why it's not popped up. There we go. The reason I want to play this one is because it is a little... It's going to be a... Oh my god, it is really loud. Let me turn it down even more. Because the creator of this game created a game that we played the demo of a few years ago now. Maybe two years ago. I can't remember what it was called. Oh no. You're a little ghost. Um... Oh no, and I actually, it was the first game that I completed on my Steam Deck. Um, Fuzz Games, you know, I'm going to go to the store page, I have to find the name of that game. Um, and the guy who made it, yeah, I, I follow them on Twitter, we interact sometimes, really seems, seems to be a really nice, nice person. The previous release, Fuzz Games, it's gone. I don't see the... I don't, I don't see the other game. That's really weird. Okay. Maybe Fuzz Game Publisher? I, Fuzz Game Developer? There's no way. I'm sure it's the same developer. I'm 100% sure. I'm going to pop this up. It is, yeah. It is the, the, the same developer. It's, it's Restless Soul. So if you want to go back and see what that game looked like... Um, it's kind of similar, except you're a little dead guy, you're a little just a little ghost in the afterlife, um, trying to find a way out, basically. It was really silly. The gameplay is essentially just... There was some, like, combat, which was supposed to be, like, a little bit of bullet hell, like, Isaac style, Binding of Isaac style, but really it was pretty simple. Um, and the main... The whole main thing was just comedy. It's just funny. It's funny to interact with people. It's funny the way you find secrets. It's funny the way the, the kind of levels evolve. It, it was just, it's just silliness. And uh, I like that a lot, you know. So let's jump in here. <laughs> the animations and everything, but yeah. That was a uh, Restless Soul, this is Frog on it. Once upon a time on a small island, far, far away. Or very close, it depends where you are now. The whole game is like that, there was the frog who dreamed of becoming the best explorer ever. However... <laughs> wrong way, there was a problem. Frogonit could never discover anything. That's his name, Frogonit, okay. But things were about to change. Dun -dun. Change for the better or for the worse. Anyway, it's almost time for my daily visit to the museum. Daily visit to the museum. Okay, but first I need to do some stuff before I leave. I have a to-do list on my phone. He's lost his phone. Have you seen my phone? <laughs> yeah, let's find his phone. Uh, I don't think my phone is in the bathtub, I, ho I hope. It's kind of hypnotizing. Must destroy clock. <laughs> nah, it cost a fortune. Let's see his grandpa. It's from Darmak, the greatest explorer ever. It's not his grandpa, it's from Darmak. To my biggest fan, Frogolit. He got my name wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> Look, he's got a butt. <laughs> That's one of the biggest things about this game. I remember the developer was really happy to put like the butt cheeks in there. It was really stupid. In, in other news specific, uh, scientifics answer the big question. How to know if an object is going to show the same dialogue or a new one? If an indicator is showing, there's something new to see. That's actually incredible. But if no indicator is showing, that means you'll get the same dialogue. Now only one question remains. Why is scientifics playing video games instead of doing some proper research? So now we know there's nothing new, but we can still interact. In other news, oh, that's fantastic. They finally, they actually did figure it out. Oh, I've got a jump button. And I've got a, a ribbit button. Oh my God. That's amazing. That's not my phone, it's a plant. I remember I can jump by pressing space. I was pressing X, but that'll do. I found the phone. Let's see what else I need to do. All right, I remember. I need to take a bath and then water the plant. I can check the task bar by pressing Q. I'll say it. Why cooking when you can order a pizza? Why even have an oven? The pl I believe the developer is from, is it, it might be Brazil? Is it? I think so. I think I remember seeing Portuguese somewhere. I can't. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Time for a bath. Ew. I guess it's been a while since my last bath. That's gross. And then we need to water the plant. Let's water the plant. Da -da. 
Beautiful. Looks good now. Oh, I just bought an orchid yesterday, actually. I think it's had enough for me. Um, I would give. I would like you to drain the bath because that's just gross, bro. Okay, I'm ready to go to the museum now. Do 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 do. This is this is fantastic. If I had just a, I mean, the house is amazing. But even if I had a normal house, I would love this mailbox. This is great. Any news today? It's a it's a real living mailbox. Oh no, more bills to pay. Thanks for the heads up. Can we jump over the fence? Oh my god, you can jump anywhere. Can we jump on top of the chicken? Oh my god. What's that noise? Are you jumping on my roof again? Again? This is the first time. I, they always react to everything. Hey, Mrs. Chicken, looking good today. That's my house you're talking to. I'm actually inside. Yeah, I already knew. Every time. Let's go see her. Hey, Mrs. Chicken, that's the real you, isn't it? Yes, I hope so. Make yourself a home, thanks. Not here at your home. Oh. I remember this day like it was yesterday. That was yesterday, don't you remember? Oh, right, I forgot. Crossing the road for dummies. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Bridges in the wall. Bowl of soup is huge. I don't know whether to eat it or dive into it. None, it's my lunch. We've got to dive into it now. No. We didn't get to dive into it. Hi, Frog on it. Did you know you can press E to start dancing with anyone? How did I not know that? What? Give it a try. There's no way this works. There's... What? Of course I gotta go dance with Mrs. Chicken. You kidding? Why? This is the... This is what the developer did. He released... I think... Like, Restless Soul, like one of his first games. I guess it did well enough that it allowed him to make this one. And so he's just had an absolute fantastic time adding a bunch of stupid stuff to his game. Because that was the whole point of his first game. Just be as silly and, and funny as possible. And so now now he gets to just do it even more. It's fantastic. Hey, Frog on it. How's the exploring thing going? Great. Did you find a new area to explore? Not yet. A new trail you haven't noticed before? Nope. A hidden door somewhere? Let me think. Nope. Well, you know what those explorers say, what? I don't know, I'm not an explorer. Let's go see the penguin, I guess. Well, we gotta jump on the penguin's house first, though. Just in case. And then we've got to dance. Oh, you can't, you can't dance if there's nobody around. It's freezing in here. Really? I was about to turn on the air conditioner. Please don't. All right, but stop talking like that. I'll try. Okay, that was too much. You made a snowman. I didn't make it. I was born like this. Winston the snowman. But the snowman doesn't dance. That's the problem. But you can dance with him, which means he's a person. Are these your parents? Nope, that came with the house. This coffee is cold. I prefer things cold. What about pizza? Freezing. Soup? Chilly. Ice cream? I don't like ice cream. What are you reading? How to make small talk. Is it working? I don't want to talk about it. I forgot it. Is it true that you moved near the museum? Yes, I want to be inspired by all the great discoveries. Has it helped you discover anything new? Not yet. Well, I think you're really close to it. Close to discovering something? No, close to the museum. Dance, 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 baby. Yes. This is better than any pause menu. If you need to go to the bathroom, you just leave the game doing this. Leave everybody happy. Right, let's go to the museum finally. We've looks like we've explored enough. Let's go see the the cat guard. They made him two statues. He must be a really great explorer. And there's a third one being built. We can't go behind it. Can we jump off? We can't. Hi, Mr. Cat. Can I enter the museum? Not right now. I'm on my lunch break. Although there's one problem. What is it? I don't have my lunch. And I can't leave my post to go look for it. I'll get it for you. Where is it? Ask Mrs. Chicken. She always pre prepares my food. Maybe it's the soup. Hi, Mrs. Chicken. We already greeted each other. All right. Uh, I'm here to pick up Mr. Mr. Cat's lunch. I forgot to make it to the kitchen. 
Holy guacamole. There's a hole in my grocery bag. Well, yeah, otherwise you couldn't put your groceries inside. Not that one. There's another hole in the bottom of the bag. That means I lost all the ingredients on my way home. Sounds like a case for frog on it. I'll make Mr. Cat's pizza once you've found them all. He's getting pizza. For lunch. Let's search those ingredients. Let's search for them. Okay. If I'm a bit lost, I can press C to rib it. That always points me in the right direction. Oh, interesting. Well, let's see what that does. Oh, he literally... It just points his face in the right direction. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I want to see the rest of the game too, but I want... I want to visit the museum, remember, and I said it first. Okay. Oh, I see cheese. I see door. I found the door. But where is the tomato? I don't see it up there. What about? It? Any news today? Oh no. More bills. Maybe it's in Penguin's house. It is. I found the tomato. I don't know why it would be here. If she walked home. Let's let's get into Mrs. Chicken. I think we just stole the tomato, to be honest. I have all the ingredients. Wonderful. To the kitchen. Where are you there? Right. Pass me the ingredients there. Dough. Dough. Cheese. Cheese. Solanum lycopersicum. <laughs> what? That, that's tomorrow's scientific name. Oh, here it is. Congratulations, it's a boy. <laughs> what? I guess it needs pepperoni to be a boy. Um, I mean, here's the pizza for Mr. Cat. I've got the pizza, the power. I mean the pizza. I've got the power. I have the power. Is that He-Man, right? I have the power. That's old. Did you bring the lunch? Thank you, now you can enter. Excellent, one ticket for the museum, please. One kid ticket, not a kid. One adult ticket then, I'm not that old. I guess you can enter for free then. <laughs> Many hours later. He's just staring at this guy. Is there anyone else in the here? Museum is about to close now. Oh, I figured you'd be in here. Watching the greatest explorers again, huh? Yeah, it's just I want to be the best. You want to be the best explorer? I know. How did you know? You tell me this every day. Oh, you're right. So, have you ever discovered anything? Not really. I discovered I want to go home, <laughs> so get out of my museum. I feel like they've already discovered everything, but it's not fair. They were born way before me. Ah, don't be too hard on yourself. You'll be a great explorer too. When? Someday. Not today though. We close in five minutes. Okay. Well, time to go home and get some rest. Tomorrow I have to get up early to visit the museum again. Sir Charles Dharma. Founder of our island, he built this museum with his bare hands. Sir Hopalot, first frog to circumnavigate the globe in 24 hours. Lady McFroggan, Froggenagle, Froggenagle, swam across all the oceans back and forth. Please don't blow the candles, unless it's your birthday. It's not. Wait, there's a door there. Please don't blow oh, all of the candles. Okay, what is this? This is a seat. I found you! What's the secret password? The password is Holy Cow 321. So now we know Holy Cow 321. So we did find a secret. We are explorers after all. Think about it. Explorers list. It contains the names of everyone who's ever discovered something. Basically all the residents of the island, except for me. Well, we just found the cow. This display is intentionally left blank. This was inspiring. I'll become a great explorer eventually. No need to rush it. Everyone moves at their own pace. Besides, I'm sure the greatest explorers have trouble discovering new things too. I made a new discovery. Oh, so he's still alive. He's still, still here. Where's everyone? 
Everyone's leaving. The museum's about to close. Oh, I'm not coming back uh, tomorrow with this thing. My back is killing me. Help me with this box, kiddo. I'm not a kid. I'm a frog. Don't play smart with me, frog kid. 12,000 milliseconds later. Okay. What is that thing? It's my old cane. No, the golden thing. It's an ancient artifact. It has the power to grant wishes. The onk. I think it's broken now. I asked to be young again and nothing happened. Anyway, I'll come back tomorrow to get all the credit for this new discovery. And don't touch anything. Oh, don't touch it. Or something. He's just staring at me as he's going out. Watching you. Hmm. I think he's... I don't think... He's here anymore. I am. I don't think he's watching me anymore. I am, I guess. I know it doesn't work, but I wish everything could be discovered again. Oh, by me! Oh no. Are you the one who grants wishes? <laughs> what you wished for. I covered the entire island with darkness. Now everything is ready to be rediscovered. That's gonna affect all the residents' lives. I don't care. I can only move in the dark. I told you not to touch the artifact. Well, technically I didn't actually touch it. Enough! Oh no, I guess dead. You got turned into a, a trading card. <laughs> I sent you like collecting things too. Thigs. It said Thigs. Where's the N? Good luck finding him in the dark. <laughs> this is not what I wish for at all. In a way it was. I know. I'll reverse the wish. Let's see. <clears throat> I would like to make another wish, please. <laughs> Thank you. With the artifact broken, now I'm truly free. What if I collect the broken pieces? I'll make sure you do. <laughs> Beware of darkness. <laughs> I should have said that before sending him away. <laughs> oh no. Zero percent now in the bottom corner. Where am I? Are you okay? Yeah, I was escorting everyone to exit and suddenly everything went dark. Oh no, so I went back to help you. So brave. Then I saw Dr. Shadows and I decided to remain hidden. Not so brave. We have to restore the light and find all the artifact pieces. It's our only chance against Dr. Shadows. Is there anything I can do to help? How does he know all this? Yes, everything. Some objects are missing or out of place. Help us. Animals are scared and or confused. I feel scared and or confused. He's going to roll away. <laughs> Stupid game. I told you. Oh, he's back. He's gone. He's gone. As I was saying, each room has a list of tasks to complete. Take a look. You already found me, so that one's complete. The rest is up to you. All right, time to be a hero. A hero, you caused all this. A hero from now on. Blushing face. Are these benches for visitors or part of an exhibition? I better not sit. I don't want to be banned again. Oh, it's the Apple yeah, cosplay. 1964. Right, this guy. I'm not moving until I've seen all the paintings. One of them is missing. Just take the picture. 1893. The scream, but it's not screaming. One of them is missing. What do you... Oh. Oh, I've actually seen this one. Um, American Gothic. I saw it in Chicago. Chicago's um, art museum. Honey, I forgot the keys, 1930. I haven't seen... Maybe I... I don't think this was in the Chicago Museum. It might have been, actually. Um, not the scream, obviously. Names of the paintings might not be 100% accurate. We did our best. I'm not moving until I've seen all the paintings, but one of them is missing. So it's got to be this one here. Looks like the painting is missing. I don't have any items. Oh, we got to find it. Complete four more tasks to unlock the door. Oh my god. Okay. So we have to find some secrets. We have to find... Oh wait, this. you see how this is different? Maybe we can go down here. You see it? The checkers were different. There you are! What happened? I was looking at some paintings and all of a sudden I'm here looking at the void. The darkness. The emptiness. Contemplating the meaning of the existence. Where? I don't see anything. Wah, wah. I guess this side as well maybe hasn't... Oh, look! And then the wall here doesn't have a um, like a kickboard on it, so we can go through here, I guess. There we go. 
All right, so the game's about finding little secrets like that. Can you return this for me? I swear, I thought these were free samples. I've got the painting. We've got a red panda to find after this or something. Looks like a painting is missing. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Um, but we still need to find like the red. Wait, wait, wait. There's a button now. Uh -huh. Can I push you? Don't play with glue. 1503. <laughs> can I? Oh, I can interact with it. Oh my god, we went down into the ground. It's an elevator. Oh. We discovered a statue. More statues. All frog statues. Oh. Okay. So maybe we don't want the red ones on? Maybe we don't want the red ones on. And do we want to go back up? Maybe there's a clue. Names of the paintings. No, no, no. Maybe we only want the red ones on. We only wanted the red ones on. Yes! Thank you! I don't know how I could ever repay you. I'm sure you'll come up with something. Mm, nope, nothing. Let's get out of here. Hi, Mr. Cat. Hi, frog on it. Take a look. The two most important items from our collection are missing. What are we looking for? There was a special trophy right here. The Best Museum Award. We got nominated many times, but we've only won it once. Winning isn't everything. Yeah, we, we thought that too. Until we actually won. Okay, I'll look for it. Um, and here we had a beautiful rose. The first one that ever grew on our island. Planted by Darmak himself. Must be a million years old. No, not really. We started planting them last week. But it has a special meaning to us. Please find it. I'm on it. Something in here. It's not, a, it's not a rose. Oh my god, there's lots of flowers in here. Oh my god. This room is huge. Oh my god, we've got to discover everything. Oh, there's the rose. We found you. We still want to discover 100% of everything. This is it! It seems fragile. Must. Be. Careful. Perfect. What? Oops. I found the rose. Hope it doesn't have a thorn. It did. The music's nice. Oh, what are you doing here? I found you! I wasn't hiding. I can't put it like that. I need a vase, a vase, whatever you want to call them. Let's go into this room, see if we can find that. Oh my god, no. It's a round trophy. It's different. Oh, it's this one. First place, you can stop now stop applying for this award. I think this is it. I found the trophy. Okay. But we still need a vase. This guy might have one. Aha! What? No. Everything's in darkness. Your step everywhere, every step. Okay. One of those could be a vase. Or maybe there's a vase up here somewhere. No. First real awards museum has ever received. I'll leave this here. Yay, number one, baby! So we need to find a vase. Vase. Is there an empty one in here somewhere? Besides this broken one? Oh, I see an empty one. Nope. Uh... Maybe there's another secret wall or something? Ah. I do feel like we could use one of these trophies as a vase. You tried, but no. You tried, but no. 
Uh, hmm. Maybe we talk to the kitty cat. It says 99%, so we've got one thing that we haven't found. Please help me find them or else I might lose my job and I won't be able to afford that thing I desperately need. A litter box? I'd rather not say. I can't just put it like that. I need a verse. So there is there is one thing. We've got 99% done. There's got to be something somewhere. Up in this back wall. Oh, what? Why? Oh, cause just because that one wall was a bit different? Okay. Hi, Mrs. B. Hi, honey. What are you doing? I always come here to take care of the flowers. Why? I just like them a lot. I have supplies in case they need anything like this. It sprays of water. Good, I'm thirsty. It's for the flowers. Oh. Do you happen to have an ex extra vase? What happened to the old vase? Uh, someone broke it. Okay, you can have this one. I got a vase. Let's get out of here. We did it. 100% restored. Let's see. Rose in this. We found the rose. Thank you. It smells like pixels. We're out of here. Frog exit. Hi, frog on it. Hi, Mr. Mouse. Good thing you're here at the museum's library. Are the books okay? Well, I managed to put most of them back in the bookshelves, but some books are still missing. Can you help me find them? Leave it to me with pleasure. I'll be near the bookshelf so you can check your progress. I'll try to walk up to there without bumping into anything. So far, so good. Whoa, wrong way. All right, that path's blocked. That means this is the right way. Good. I think I just won't move at all. Oh, come on. Sorry, that was me. So silly. Uh-oh, what a wonderful world. That was. Hey, that's a book. I found a black book. Okay, we've got to find the different colors. This blue book's sticking out. Mm, this book looks different. Found a cyan book. Any more sticking out? Any more sticking out or looking a little weird? Hey, that's a, that's a book. I found a brown book. We can put the cyan book back. I'll leave this here. <laughs> Just sideways like that so it covers up all the space. Perfect. Are these all the same? They are indeed. Brown book. I'll leave this here. White book. Blue book. Grey book. Black book. This room's pretty big. There's a place to go over there. We're gonna have to check. Oh, the red book. And the koala. I was reading this book about koalas. Did you know they can sleep up to 20 hours a day? Yes, didn't you know? You're a koala. Hello? I think he fell asleep. This is weird. What's this on the floor? I clicked it. And now we're going down to see the eagles. Can you return this book for me? I don't want to be seen with it. I found a yellow book. It's called Learning to Fly. So you got to keep your eyes peeled. So we've got a red book and a yellow book. Perfect. Oh. There we go. There we go. One of these has to be a special book, right? One of these, when you close it, it's going to change colour, no? Yeah. A purple book. It had to. It just had to. A white book. Leave this here. Leave this here. Okay. Doing pretty well. Right, let's go over to this other side. We've got to find a green, like an orange, a pink, a grey. Oh, there's one down here. Room down here. Okay. Found the orange book in the corner there. I don't think these. Huh. Maybe there's a code here. Oh! A blue book. So you just have to check them all. Yeah. Okay. I doubt there's anything else. Hey, I'm trying to sleep here! Snake. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Put you back. 
gapple that one back, so you know. So we have two books currently. We need to find like maybe two more. Oh, Van Gogh, Vincent. It's okay, I've already read that one. The grey one. Alright, thanks for talking. Vincent Van Gogh portrait. Okay, we ha I have seen a Vincent Van Gogh portrait also in the Chicago Museum. One of the big reasons we went, actually. Okay, orange book. Okay, we need a green book and we need a pink book. So, we need to see if there's any secrets anywhere. There's one here. The mole, I've got this book, but I can't see a thing without my glasses. Can you return it for me? Sure. Thank you, Mr. Lizard. And frog on it. Oh, you sure? Yes, 99% sure. Okay, if you say so. Right, pink book here. We just need the green book. Gotta find one more secret. What looks out of place? I mean, we could make sure we close these just in case there could be another one doing this. I don't think it would be. I don't think it would be. But you never know. Hmm. There's a... Could there be a secret in a, a room like this? You know what I mean? Like a secret area within a secret area? Down here? One more book. Green book. It could be the carpet. The carpet is green. Hmm. The carpet is green. This is where we came from, right? So oh no wait. There is there are books in here though. where we started. Okay. I don't see anything out of place here. This this room here. Don't see anything out of place there. Maybe this guy has one. How am I doing? Let's see. You found 11 of the books and you returned 11. Back to searching. Back to standing here in awkward silence as you search. Oh, wait, right here. There's something in here. <laughs> I found a green book. The whole game is just about finding little secrets. It's funny. What a strange concept. Okay. I'll leave this here. All books were returned. Thank you, Frogani. How could I repay you? Maybe you could let me read one of these books for free from time to time. You already could do that. That's how a library works. What? Is that what I think it is? No, you didn't see anything. Is it a piece of the artifact? Okay, you saw everything. But before you come any closer, let me ask you this. Do you know why they chose me to guard this valuable object? Because you're a great fighter? No, because I run fast. Oh no. Wait! How am I supposed to catch him? We know they can only move in the dark. Try to throw some light bulbs at him and avoid all the obstacles. You're right, I can do this. You know, this reminds me of the story of a young frog. Just go! Right. I need to... Th right. I need to move out of the way of blocks, but I need to somehow collect light bulbs and then launch them at him. <laughs> Just green cubes. I can't jump, so you've got to move side to side. The way it looks back like, he's still chasing me. One more sucker. Oh. Even though it's the same, it feels worse when the walls are bigger. Is that weird? That monster dropped something! What is it? It's a croissant, and it's mine. No, it's a piece of the broken artifact. So the prophecy is true! Pig nose. Oh no. Here we go. What prophecy? Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to make a great entrance. Stupid pig. <laughs> Go on, take it. This guy gets us closer to restoring the light. 
I found an artifact piece. All right, we can go now. We have to check the rest of the island. Can I put my arms down now? Yes. There we go. Demo room. End of demo room. It's the guest book. I should write something. I liked it better when there were no monsters and darkness. Good guest. Hey, Frog on it. Thank you for all your hard work. You saved the museum. It was nothing. You would have done the same for me, would I? I mean, totally. <sighs> Can't be that bad. Oops. Thank you for playing Frog on it demo. If you enjoyed it, you can wish us again on Steam. And in feedback, you have... Uh, you can follow me for more updates. Feedback is more than welcomed. So... Don't you feel like we're forgetting something? Mm, nope. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Anyone out there? I'm sure they'll rescue me in no time. I was trying to figure out the joke. And I've just got it. Like, I was trying to figure out figure out why he's called Darmak. And at first I thought, is it backwards? But it's Kamrad? No. Is it an anagram? And then I was thinking, well, what would his real name be? His real, it's supposed to be Darwin, right? And Win as in Windows. And Mac as in Macintosh. I think that's the joke. It's the worst joke ever. It's so silly. It's so dumb. Darmac. I'm sure that's the joke. I'm sure of it. It's Da Macintosh instead of Da Windows. All right. Right? Okay. I... Ah, frog on it. This, this developed... You know what I love is... What I love about this game and the previous game is... There's just nothing to it. There's not... You know? It's just... It's a game built... Uh, not to be, like, exciting. It's a game not built to keep you playing for a hundred hours of microtransactions or grinding through levels or whatever. It's, it's not a game that's... I don't know, it's... It's just made specifically to make you smile. Like, if the developer can make you smile, make you laugh, then they've done their job, and I think there's just something absolutely wonderful about that. Um, I mean, the game itself, uh, having to check every single square and every space, it's gonna, I don't know, if you keep having to do that, it might get a little bit annoying, you know, but it's really just about finding secrets and enjoying the, the silly story and the silly characters and their silly interaction in this whole silly world. It's just that it's, that's all it is, it's, I don't know, I I appreciate that. That the developer can just enjoy themselves making something to make people happier. I don't know, you know, it's not like they're just not trying to make this addictive thing or this thing that's gonna be like the, the next big thing or copy the current big thing. They're just making what they want and trying to get a laugh out of people. I, I, I think that's just really nice. I'm gonna give it a three. I'm gonna give it a three because it was funny. It is funny. Um, like I said, as a game, I don't know if it can keep your attention if you've got to keep going through all the darkness. You know that could be maybe get kind of a kind of irritating if you if that's the whole game. But it's just nice. It's just nice, and I, I really like that. I think we need more games like this. Games that you can just you play for a couple of hours and that's the end of them. And the I don't know. You you just had. An enjoyable afternoon playing through it you know you laughed a couple of times and maybe you're not you're not gonna be like ah, yeah remember frog on it that game was awesome that game, but you'd be like I don't know maybe you see an image of it sometime in the future and you're just like yeah that game was fun that was nice and I don't know that's all it needs to be and I think it's just really nice that we have this one guy who's just doing that and, and enjoying the process of making the game as well is a really big thing like, uh, I see him on Twitter all the time posting silly updates and, and funny little bugs and stuff that he's having to iron out. And I, I just, it's really nice experience. Part, I think, honestly, a big part of this game is following 
the developer on Twitter and and seeing that they're enjoying making it as well. That it really does make a big difference. It makes me want to play the game and like be a part of of that just that thing that they're making. But that's Frog on it. Let's move on. That was a nice nice way to start. <laughs>